G'day guys, here we'll take a look at the CT36AC, the M-Class. Here I'll show you the product features, the accessories and consumables, and also how to maintain your unit so that you get the most out of it, stay safe and compliant. So we'll take a look at the features on the machine now on the CTM36 EAC. So firstly we've got our, our socket, so this is where we're going to plug our tool into and on that we're going to have it on auto, so auto on and off. Uh, we've got the power off setting and also the manual setting when we want to use it for manual clean up. Uh, each side of this is the AC, so when we're actually using the machine we can move this to the AC and it'll give it three cleans of the filter which we'll talk about later and same on this side if it's on a manual setting we're vacuuming up concrete dust and we need to clean it we can then move that to the AC setting on there again to give it a clean because this is an M class it's got a flow sensor so again we've got our dimensions around there which represents the diameter hose you're using this machine comes with a 36 mil hose a larger hose obviously because of uh, because of the type of dust we're dealing with, which could be concrete, plaster, this type of dust. So we can set the flow sensor to that. We've got the setup here to have the AC off or the AC on. So when the AC off, we may be doing an application that we don't want any auto clean. And then if we've got an application where concrete or plaster, we need to do it, we can put it on one and that'll bring the cleaning system in every 15 seconds. So we'll talk a little bit more about how we set that up. The panel here, we can use this for the Bluetooth or the air fitting uh, settings on that. And also we've got our surge protector here, or a reset button. So it's fitted with a surge protector behind the electronics. Uh, on the base here, you've got your, your brake. So just to choose the operator by foot, but just to lock, them, lock it into position and also brings the front wheels off the off the ground around the side here we can we've got our, our t-locks so our sustainer system again where we can locate this on the top and then we can lock our sustainers on again getting on and off site really efficiently and around the back of the unit we've got our our lead holder okay and that can be tilted just to the side so it allows us to get the the whole lead off again without having to unroll it. To get into your machine we've just got the side through there so I'll take that one off. Okay and inside we've got the auto clean filter and to remove that when it needs changing we can take that out and to lock it up so lock it in there push him up so that always points to the points to the top in our container so the container here we've got that we again we can use this for wet pickup by fitting a, a wet filter uh, we rise this up the water will rise up to there and shut it off and then with this we get two different types of bags um, in this unit so we've got our standard self-clean bag and we've also got our, our plastic bag. So this one is when we're using materials that doesn't require the auto clean. This one here we use when we're doing concrete, plaster or, or that type of dust. So fitting the bag is similar. So all we do is we fix it into the, into the bottom, lift our lever up, pop it in there so that locks it in top and bottom. Again, we don't need to do too much to the bag, just fold that, fold that out. And again, the benefit with the, the filter sits over there flat so we can, we can fill it to its total capacity. And the other one that comes in, it is a blast gate. So this will fit at the front of the machine. And this is where we want to uh, amplify the cleaning system. So we can do that by closing this off and we'll show you that. So here we're just going to take a look at some of the accessories and consumables for the CTM36AC. So it comes with the auto clean filter. We can fit a HEPA filter to that and also the wet filter if we want to do wet pickup. It comes with the two bags, the plastic bag and the self-clean bag. The other option when we want to reuse the bag is the 
reusable bag for it. On the panel here, which we've removed, which should be done by a technician, we've got our Bluetooth fitted. The other option is we can also fit the air fitting there as well. So if you want to do auto on and off with air tools. So with the Bluetooth fitted, we can pop it onto auto and we've got our remote control. So we can connect that directly up to that to turn it on and off remotely. And when we're using cordless tools, when we're using cordless tools, same thing, we can hook that up. So we have the auto on and off feature for the, the cordless tools as well. When we're dealing with types of dust, concrete and plaster, uh, we want to use less bags. We can also hook the separator up. So the separator is going to just connect on top, lock that up. We're going to plug our, our main hose into there that's coming from the tool. Then the material's coming through. It's getting separated. The larger stuff's dropping in the 20 litre bucket. The finer dust is then coming back through there, going into the uh, machine. And then, yeah, reducing the amount of bags that you can use with the separator. So this will just give you a bit of an overview of the accessories. This will just give you a few tips in looking after the unit. So firstly, because this is concrete and plaster extractor, it does come with a larger diameter hose, allows for more volume of dust to get through. And with that, the 36 mil hose will go over the top of some of the tools. But where we want to use a sander with something like that, this won't work. So an accessory that is available for that rather than buying a full new hose is just a plug and that plug will then go over all the standard hoses and that little adapter will fit every tool in the range. So 36 mil hose for the application but we can reduce it down if, if required. So the bag that we've got in there at the moment is the normal self-clean bag. So the setup that we've got on this now is we have the auto clean in the zero position. And then when we turn that on, the auto clean won't come into it. Because we're using a seal bag, it hasn't got any benefit. So the type of self clean bag we'd use here would be for your standard dust, your timber dust, all that type of thing. Uh, it can be used for concrete and plaster dust because it's breathable, but that's why with the auto clean units, we then get the plastic bag to fit. So the plastic bag goes in the same way. That locks in there, goes over the top of the container. So these are breathable holes, they need to stay inside the canister, so they've got to stay inside. And all we do is we fold this back just so our anti-static, which is our middle one, is still exposed. And that way when we're using the filter, the filter sits over the top, and then the, as the dust comes through, the heavy dust hits the bottom, the lighter dust will go into the filter and this is where we need to clean it. So the setup with a plastic bag, it'll go on top. And then what we'll do with this is we put that onto the, the one and this will bring the auto clean in. Every 15 seconds. So that'll give it one hit to clean the filter. Now with our, I've got this on the manual setting, but if I want to give the filter a better clean, I can then bring this over to the AC. And that'll then give it three hits to clean the filter. So on manual or auto, we can move it to AC in both sides. Now the blast gate is designed so that it uses the full force of the 
the vacuum to actually clean the filter. So what we do with that is we shut it off. It's got a little valve in there, shuts it off. And then when it does cleaning cycle, it gives the uh, filter a really good clean. So all we do with that is we shut that off. We pop it onto the AC. And then we'd open that and then away we go. So plastic bag, auto clean, self clean bag, turn the auto clean off. The blast gates there is just to make an effective cleaning when you have got the plastic bag in. And it also forms a good shut off valve if you're transporting it so no dust comes out. So there are your two bag options. And then with our filter change, same thing, we can, we can bring that out. And with all the changeover filters, we'll get a plastic bag. This will just reduce the exposure to the dust, but that'll then, that'll then fold out there. We can pop our new filter in and away we go. So again, with this being an M-Class extractor, uh, we've got the flow sensor and the flow sensor there, this is a 36 mil hose. So we set that on to 36 and then the alarm will come on if the filter's blocked, if the bag's full, or if you've got a blockage in the hose. So it sort of gives you a bit of an idea on where the maintenance is in this unit anyway. So these are just a few tips on how to use the bags and how to get the most out of your unit. Okay, that's it for this guide. This will ensure that you get the most out of your system. If you need any further support or information, go to festal.com.au.